My name is Leah DeGro and I am the editor-in-chief. Hi, my name is Jared Gens and I am the managing editor for The Hatchet. I'm Zach Schoenfeld and I'm one of the managing editors. Hi, I'm Dante Schultz. I was the video editor for the GW Hatchet. My name is Grace Roman and I'm the senior photo editor on The Hatchet. Well, hi, I'm Sydney Lee and I'm currently the contributing social media director. My name is Molly and currently I'm the contributing social media editor. My name's Anna Boone and I'm the current culture editor for The Hatchet. I have gotten just a lot of really great reporting and editing experience. Um, I've gotten experience managing a big group of people and coming up with just really new, fun, creative ideas um, that we get to do every single week, so it's been great. I would say overall, more than anything, The Hatchet has just given me so much self-confidence with so many different parts of the reporting process. The Hatchet has given me an excuse to really stick my nose into all the things that go on on this campus. You know, we cover stories that really all happen in just a few blocks here in Foggy Bottom, but that doesn't mean that they don't matter. In fact, I think those stories matter a lot. So on top of the technical experience that The Hatchet gave me, being able to confidently edit videos on Adobe Premiere in a timely fashion, um, it's also given me the um, skill set to reach out to people and find sourcing. It's really interactive with the GW community and also just the local community um, which I think is really invaluable. The Hatchet definitely gave me a lot of hands-on experience early on in my career so as an 18 year old coming to college there really is no better place to kind of learn how to write and report on a story so you're really just thrown into it from the beginning but I think that's the best way to learn how to be a journalist. Well, as a freshman in the School of Media and Public Affairs you don't get to take um, writing and reporting classes yet. You have to wait until your sophomore year, um, but I was really able to hit the ground running as a freshman. It's been pretty invaluable to my student experience and I feel like it's prepared me for professional journalism in ways I couldn't have expected it to. Just come with as many ideas as you can. Um, come with a lot of energy and um, enthusiasm and just write as many stories as you can and just have the most fun with it. I would say the biggest thing that I will take away from my time on The Hatchet will be how much I have learned from watching and working with others. That's definitely been one of the um, most impactful experiences I think I've had during my time on the paper. So The Hatchet's really just what you make out of it, so if you're really here just to meet the deadlines and get your um, bylines, I mean you can do that, but uh, you know you're working for a student newspaper and because the student in front of it, it's okay to make mistakes. Um, we're all learning, it's better to make them now than out in the professional field. You're working as a part of the larger GW community, but it's also just a fun school student newspaper where you're able to make great memories and be able to, to learn and build your skills and you shouldn't take it so seriously and just be able to, to have a good time and publish work that you're proud of. The piece of advice I would give to someone who's just wearing the hatchet is to not hold back, always share your ideas, always pitch to your editors. Um, no question is a stupid question and that genuinely applies to The Hatchet. Um, the Hatchet has been the place at GW where I've made my closest friends. Um, it's been a constant in my time during college um, and somewhere I can always go back to with open arms. So I'm incredibly grateful for the friends I've made and the community that I've had and also um, the supplemental journalism education that I've gotten. So student journalism is journalism. We're putting in all the same work that professional journalists do on top of our course loads and all of our extracurriculars. I think all of us have spent many hours here in the Hatchet Townhouse, whether it be 3 p.m. or 3 a.m. Uh, and those, you know, it's some of those late night moments uh, and even sometimes in some of the most difficult stories where you really build that community of everyone coming together because they want to tell these stories right. 